Hi, I'm Teacher Alice. Welcome to Circle Time with Home CEO Academy. Today, I have my special dinosaur here with me. He has something to do with our theme this week. Do you remember what it is? That's right, green. Let's begin. for today's welcome song. Take it away, Lexi. Hello, today we are going to do a short freeze dance. So, when I am singing, you will dance. When I stop, though, you will freeze. Okay, let's begin. Boys and girls, why don't you take a quick peek outside your window to see what the weather is doing today. Is it sunny, sunny, sunny where you live? Is it cloudy, cloudy, cloudy where you live? Is it sunny, sunny, sunny? Is it cloudy, cloudy, cloudy? Is it sunny or cloudy where you live? Is it rainy, rainy, rainy where you live? Is it snowy, snowy? Okay, boys and girls, we're going to sing our Days of the Week song. We'll sing it two times, so if you just need to listen the first time, that's okay. You join in when you're ready, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are the days of the week, seven days of the week. These are Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are the days of the week, seven days of the week. These are the days of the week, seven days of the week. Okay, friends, this week we have a fun song called Five green and speckled frogs. So we'll have some actions to do along with it, okay? I keep my copy here. Here we go. So we have five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Hey, well done, friends. Welcome back to our theme board this week, friends. Our theme this week is the color green. Were you able to find some toys or objects around your house that are green? You can make your own theme shelf like we have here. On our shelf, we have a green tree, it might be a Christmas tree. We have a dinosaur and we have a coal train car 
and a green square and some super cool shamrock shades and some cute pictures here. We have an alligator and a caterpillar and some green plants. Well, let's start with our sentences. We have one, two, three, four sentences this week. Our first one has one, two, three pea pods and it says peas are green. Next we have one, two frogs and it says frogs are green. Then we have a cute alligator and it says alligators are green. Finally, one, two, three different kinds of trees and it says trees are green. You've got it all figured out. Mystery Box is here. Hello, Mystery Box. Let's see what we're gonna learn today. Oh, good. We have a new letter sound. So today we have the letter P. P, P, P. This is an uppercase P and a lowercase P. So let's see what cards we have for the letter P. Here we go. We have a plant, P, P, plant. What color is this plant? Is it green? It's a green plant. P, P, pig. P for pig. What does the pig say? Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> ah, pizza. P for pizza. Do you like pizza? P for pencil. P, P, pencil. P for pie. P, P. Do you like pie? We love pie. P for pin. Pin. These can be kind of dangerous, so you have an adult present with a pin, okay? P for paint. Pa, pa. And the paint, you can get all your fingers all messy with paint or use the paintbrush. P for pan. To cook in a pan. Aw, P for panda. Pa, pa. Panda. Okay, let's see what our P objects are. Here we go. This is a penny. In the United States, it's a coin worth one cent. This is the front and this is the back. Penny starts with P. Pa, pa. And here is a pepper. What color is this pepper? Green pepper. Not all peppers are green, but this one is. And finally, we have a penguin. Pa, pa, penguin with yellow feet. <laughs> awesome. So that's the letter P, pa, pa, P. What else does Mystery Box have? Here's some more flashcards of household objects. So this is sofa. Also a couch, sofa. This is a table. You eat your food or do your work at a table. And a chair, we sit in a chair. Trash can, very important to have a trash can. Put all your dirty stuff in there. Paper towels, paper towels help you clean up messes. The sofa. Wow, mystery box. What else do you have? Here we go. Here's our story for today. It's called In the Tall, Tall Grass. So why don't you get cozy and we'll take a look inside. In the Tall, Tall Grass by Denise Fleming. In the tall, tall grass, crunch, munch, caterpillars, lunch. Dart, dip, hummingbirds, sip.
drum, drum, bees hum. Crack, snap, wings flap. Pull, tug, ants, lug. Slip, slide, snakes, glide. Rich, ratch, moles, scratch. Skitter, scurry, beetles, hurry. Zip, zap, tongues, snap. Hip, hop, ears, flop. Stop, go, fireflies glow. Lunge, loop, bats swoop. Stars bright, moonlight. Good night, tall, tall grass. That was In the Tall, Tall Grass by Denise Fleming. Friends, thank you for joining me back at my work table. Remember, all activities completed at the work table need to have teacher or caregiver support. Now today will be our last day for the number. Do you remember what number we're on? Number four. So we completed page 13, page 14, page 15, and now we are on page 16 with the number four maze. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is just like our other weeks. Whenever you see the number four, you use your green marker or crayon and you color in the spaces with the number four. You can also just trace the number. It's really good practice, okay? So that'll be our final page for the number four. Now also this week, another activity is a fun, fun game called Lily Pad Leap. Oop, here we go. So after you have your copies printed out, you'll need to have help um, to cut out. This will be the game spinner. And you have one, two, three, four frogs that you use as game pieces. Now you can easily make this into a spinner using a paper clip and a little, um, it's called a brad. So you're gonna have to have an adult help you with that, okay? Cause that's a little dangerous. But after you have that made, you're all ready to go. And you're going to start here in the tall grass and the reeds. And your goal is to make it all the way around without stopping on the snake or the alligator. You wanna make it all the way home to the juicy fly. <laughs> okay, so this is a ton of fun and you guys can play this many, many, many times. Just take care of your pieces. Okay guys, have a great time with your activities this week. It's Play-Doh time, friends. Today, we will be making peas. And not the letter P, but the vegetable. This is our pea pod. And all of these white shapes will be filled with peas that are made of Play-Doh. Can you tell me what shape this is? It's a circle! Alright, so I'm going to use my green Play-Doh. You use whatever you have on hand. And let's make some circles. Here we go! Ta-da! 
We did it! We made how many peas? Are you ready to count? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We made nine peas out of Play-Doh. Well done, friends. Have fun with your activities this week. Put your own ideas into them. Make them special to you. I'd love to see them. I had so much fun with you today. I can't wait for our next circle time. I'll see you soon. You could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. You could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for miles. You know you could.